Welcome to TSS Associates Troubleshooting Guide for the Bosch Inverter Heat Pumps. Today, we'll show you how to diagnose a P4 error code for your M20 outdoor unit. Let's get started. To troubleshoot a P4 error code, you will need a multimeter with needle probes and your refrigeration gauges. To begin, check that the indoor and outdoor coils are clean, as well as the air filter. Clean the indoor or outdoor coils with water if needed. Replace the air filter if it is beginning to look dirty. Check that the indoor and outdoor fans operate when there is a call for heat or cool. If the indoor or outdoor fans are not operating, investigate the cause of that failure. If the fans are operating, check that the service valves are open. If the valves are open, next attach your gauges and check the refrigerant levels. In cooling, your suction line reading should be approximately 130 PSI. In heating, your liquid line reading should be approximately 357 PSI. If your readings do not correlate, you will have to locate the source of the refrigerant blockage. For more information, please visit our other troubleshooting videos on diagnosing the refrigeration circuit. You want to make sure the unit has been off for a short period so that the sensors are at ambient temperature. You will need your multimeter to perform your sensor value tests. On your meter, select the ohms position in auto range. The T5 sensor is located on CN14, which is a green molex with two black wires above the white and blue molexes. Remove the green plug from the board. Use the leads from your multimeter and test the T5 sensor value. Write down this value. Here you will see a resistance chart for the T5 and TF temperature sensors. These two sensors are 55,000 ohm thermistors. Measure the ambient temperature outside and correlate to the chart. If the ambient temperature reads 80 degrees, your own reading should be 50,904. If your sensor reading is incorrect, replace the T5 sensor. If your reading is correct, then restart the system and check for normal operation. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this training video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please don't hesitate to reach out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more valuable content. Have a great day.